Hello everybody, it's Dio from Firm But Fair Gaming bringing you another video. Join all the videos and content we produce, don't forget to click on that subscribe button, click on that like button, and don't be afraid to share. Don't forget to click on the notification button, customize it however you want, but that way you're notified whenever we publish another video. Hello everybody. Welcome to the weekly challenge rift. I know we're a little bit late this week. It is number 260. We are a demon hunter and let's take a look what we got here. The Gears of Dreadlands. So for those that are unfamiliar with this set, so the two pieces we're going to gain four seconds of momentum when we attack with the primary skill. Pass out at 20 seconds and then our primary skills 10% increased damage per second of momentum. Our four pieces strafing against enemies will automatically shoot your last used primary skill and give us 60% damage reduction while we strafe and for five seconds after. And while strafing, we gain 8% movement speed for each second momentum. So we're going to be able to move really, really fast. And then our lastly, our primary skills deal 15,000% increased damage. So let's see what else we got here. This neck with the boon of the hoarders. So that's not going to help. Prevent all cold damage. Hatred generators reduce our damage. So we got some survivability. Vengeance also summons a crashing beast. All right. Pocatha sweating man, drain life with Bane of the Powerful. So after we kill an elite, we're going to get a damage increase for 76 seconds and we get more damage against the elites and we take less damage. Gem of efficacious toxins. So we're going to poison all enemies and deal more damage. Two enemies that are poisoned, and okay. Then Valor, Strafe, Projectors, Pierce, and Hungering Arrow is guaranteed to pierce and deal more damage. Okay, so that part's not bad. Sentries, Companion, Globes, all right. What do we got for actual spells? Hungering Arrow, so that's good. So that's what we're going to use to generate our momentum, as well as what we're going to be using while we're strafing around. Do we actually, okay, we do actually have strafe. I was going to laugh if they didn't go straight. So we have rapid fire, smoke stream for some survivability, our companion, strafe, and then vengeance where we're going to deal a bunch of damage and stuff. Increased movement, archery. All right, more traps. Did I misread? Okay, whatever. So smoke screen is our survivability. We're going to put out our companion, shoot our hungry arrow. So here is where we're going to see our momentum. So as you can see, we're going to get it up to 12. And then as we strafe around, it's just going to look like this. Bunch of speed. We're going to stop every so often to, to click and keep up our stacks. But that's basically it. We could do rapid fire. So this is rapid fire. But mainly, I think we're just going to be doing strafe. Can't imagine why we'd ever do rapid fire. So hungry and arrow, strafe, hungry and arrow, strafe, and then keep our CDs up. And that's basically all we're going to do. So let's jump into the actual rift and see how it goes. And we are off. So we want to get our momentum up. Nope, oh, that was usually where so we have our companion up. So yeah, so this is all we're going to do. Every so often we're going to stop and shoot to make sure that we keep our strafe up, so now we're going to pop our vengeance because we ran into elites. There we go, got them down. Now we're going to have the Bane of the Powerful working for us. So I know that there's another lead pack right there. Just going to keep strafing and we'll just dive back down here. There we go, got that. Oh, I should have kept going up. Keep our momentum up, keep going. So we need to hit things here. Otherwise we're going to run out of... Alright, there we go. Let's see what's up here. Oh, we got a shield. Let's just touch that. There we go. Keep our momentum up. There is an elite somewhere in here. There he is. Was that the illusion? I don't even know. There we go. I thought there was a champ pack. Oh well. Keep our companion up. Another elite. 
this is actually looks like it's going to be a pretty simple one. There we go. Onwards and upwards. So we're going to get another one here. Another pylon. Perfect. And I almost wish I had a found this one first. Come back and just help blow up those elites. So every so often I am definitely stopping. It doesn't look like I am, but I'm firing um, another shot to keep our movement or momentum at 20. This is actually a pretty good run. How many circles are we going to get? Another elite. Perfect. Oh, sweet. Double elite. Conduit just ran out. Got those guys down. Get our companion out. Oh, a channeling. That's sweet. Alright, let's uh, use vengeance then. Might have missed when that came off CD. Almost got the... There we go. Oh, don't stand on that. There we go. Spawn the boss. Perfect. Keep that up. Canyon. Perfect. I love quick ones like that. That's so much fun. Nice and easy. And that's all we gotta do. 230. Watch, I'm not even close. 144. Where do we get? 180? Yeah. Oh, well. What I would have done if I could do that over again is I would have sprinted forward for that conduit, come back, nuke the one, then accelerate forward and kind of just utilize that a little bit more. Um, but overall, pretty simple run, pretty steady, nice and easy. And that's the way we like to do it. Love kind of one shot builds that we can kind of just fly through. The, uh, also, the mobility there, they don't often give us that nice quick speed. So that's was nice of them. Would have been nice if our Templar had a NEMS that would just been it. Anyways, that's all there is to the build. As you saw, I didn't even really use rapid fire at all. It's just you're going to shoot your hungering, get up to your 20, start strafing, keep pausing, like keep every couple seconds, shoot another thing. Then we use our companion, smoke screen if we gotta, and then I saved my vengeance for the first time we ran into it. So that brings us to the end of the video. If you have any questions or comments, please let me know below. Uh, and as always, we appreciate it. Like, share, and subscribe. So please click those buttons. And as always, hope you keep checking out the rest of the channel. we got lots of build videos and all that stuff. So until next time, have fun playing Diablo 3.